Hello and welcome to episode 231 of the Daily Sales Message, the sales podcast that gives you simple and actionable advice that's designed to help you feel more confident and sell more stuff. And I do it every single day because A, I've got a lot to talk about and B, I kind of pinky promised somebody that I could do it. They didn't think I could and I don't like to be beaten. So here we are. In today's episode, <laughs> I'm talking about seasonality. Now I've got a couple of one-to-one coaching clients that I'm talking to very, very early stages of both of their respective businesses. And they're just understanding the notion of seasonality in their business. For them in particular, it's to do with the end and the beginning of the financial year. So some decisions are put off and then taken up depending on that. And they're understanding that they need to budget accordingly for that and need to be aware of that because you can't really affect that. You can't really change that. A simplistic uh, model and a simplistic example of this, of course, is if you sell Christmas trees, you'll be very, very busy towards the end of the year, but during the summer, not so much. And that's fine. That's obvious. But in your own business, seasonality might not be obvious, but it will be there. It's likely to be there to a greater or lesser extent. So this is where keeping track of your numbers is really important. So you understand, OK, well, September's pretty always dead for us. That's fine. It's nothing to do with us. It's just the market. It's this reason, that reason. This is what we do accordingly. If you don't understand the numbers, if you don't understand the seasonality of your business and when things are busier and are more quiet, it can really rip into your confidence and your self-esteem. And you can think you're doing something wrong or things are going badly when actually nobody's buying Christmas trees in March. It's cool. Like, don't worry about it. End of the year, they will. I know it's a flippant example, but having the visibility on that is important. So where's the seasonality in your business? Where is it busier and quieter? And if you don't know when that is, have a look at your historical data. Do some logical thinking about the marketplace that you're in and the people that you're talking with. So you can understand the high points and the low points of the year and you can budget accordingly. A, so you can you know know what to expect, but B, so you can just protect your confidence and your self-esteem. People aren't ordering anything at all. You know it's not you. You're not doing anything wrong. It's just in September or February or June or whenever it is, eh, things are a bit quiet, but just wait till August because that's when it's really busy. Having that level of understanding can really help drive you forward. That's it for this episode of the Daily Sales Message. Thank you for listening or watching all the way to the end. Tomorrow in episode 232, we're going to exit through the gift shop. Hopefully you're going to buy a nice t-shirt or mug or something, but I'll talk to you about that tomorrow. Exit through the gift shop, episode 232 of the Daily Sales Message podcast. I will see you then.